here with Marisol. She's a celebrity manicurist. So while we have you, yes. what are your top three tips for painting your own nails? So when you're painting your own nails, I like to tell people don't put your hand flat down. Just fold your fingers oh. and turn your hand and just paint like this. It actually comes more naturally and then all of a sudden you're like, why wasn't I doing this all along? Because what's the benefit? The benefit is that you're getting the view of what a manicurist would be looking at. Mm -hmm. So if you know a manicurist was looking at your nails, they have a full view. If you're like this, you're look you're missing out on this whole side. If you have your hand down and you're trying to paint, it's almost like your elbow is in your way, and you you know it's it's a little frustrating. So this way you get all the sidewalls. Yeah, and you can always lean it on this too. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can always like lift it up and then move around. I was about to ask always you that. paint yeah. along the free edge. And you know, you really want to seal it in. Like you see your manicures do when they're giving you gel. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to seal it in, except you have this amazing formula that you know is gonna last you and you know it's gonna just grow out in a nice way, you know, and stay mm -hmm. nice and shiny. Another tip I have is to Use your thumbs last. As you can see, mine's filled with paint because I was using it as a tool. <laughs> so use it as a tool. Like, you know, be MacGyver. Use your thumbs. It's okay. It's, so, you know, and then once these are dry, then you paint your thumbs. Oh, okay. So when you use your thumb as a tool, you mean when you want to get excess nail polish off in a place that it's not supposed to be? Yes. So, perfect example right there. Just wipe it off. Perfection. You see? Mm -hmm. And so it just, yeah, like it's gonna be here, but it's okay because you just wipe it off and once this is dry, then you're good to go. Now, are there other ways that you can um, protect your manicure after it's done? Is it, do you have to put top coat every day? No. Nope. Wear gloves when you do dishes, that kind of stuff? No, well, you know, I always suggest to wear gloves when you do dishes. Um, also, when you do laundry, a lot of people don't think about that, but the detergent really does dry out your hands mm -hmm. and give you extra dry skin. Um, water transfer is very important with your nails. So you wanna just make sure that your hands are dry. You don't want that humidity to build under. Um, so that's why I suggest to wear gloves. Okay. But also taking care of your cuticles is key. And so we make an amazing cuticle conditioner mm -hmm. that just came out in full size. We used to have it in our mini click squads, which was super cute because you could just take it with you on the go. Um, but now we have full size, so get in there, do it on your toes, do it on your hands, you know, and keep it in your purse, it's very well, important. Well, how often, this is the thing, I think a lot of people think they can use cuticle oil once or twice a week, but no. how often should you use it? Always. I mean, how often do you put chapstick? It's the same thing, you know, just how, it's how you feel. If you feel like you are going to want to pick something, instead of picking it, put cuticle oil. Uh, wow. If you feel like you want to bite something or pull it, don't. Don't do that, just put oil on it. Let it hydrate and do its own thing and grow its own way. Because if it's meant to be removed, then it'll get really, really dry and hard and it'll come off. Okay, so but in the meantime, don't help it. No. Not that and way And don't anyway. ever pull in the opposite direction, ever. Don't pull in this direction Ooh. towards you. That will just cause you to bleed. That's not good, that's trauma. Say it, you don't want vampires over here. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome.